Hello, Tim Martinez with Martinez Frog Sanctuary. Thanks for viewing my video, and please leave any comments you wish. And let me get on here with what I'm doing. The Martinez Frog Sanctuary was started in October of 2022 because when I took my two dogs for a walk over at uh, the Hoover Ponds State Park here, just adjacent to where we live, there were people out riding their ATVs and their four-wheel drive trucks and everything and going through the water and destroying these frog spawn and the frogs, and I felt bad for them. You know, because I've always loved nature and seeing them destroyed like that in a state park. And I thought, there's nobody, nobody to speak for them over here, nobody to keep them safe. And so that started me on my quest of, of searching Google and YouTube. Uh, regarding the subjects of amphibians, frogs, wildlife, everything and their plight and how man uh, is through greed and um, commercialization and politics and everything is destroying them and causing extinction even of species. And I even ran into the, uh, I think I'm saying it right when I say uh, chytrid, uh, the fungus disease that has wiped out entire species. There's over 7,000 uh, species of amphibians. Um, and um, I found that it just consumed me with concern to the point where I wanted to do something. So in October of 2022, my grandkids and I set out to make uh, Martinez a uh, frog sanctuary and to develop that into something that could provide that safety and protection. And while doing that, um, I ran into the... Uh, I ran into the National Wildlife Federation who, if I would provide water, food, habitat for the, um, for the wildlife, that they would certify me. And I did get certified by them for that. We also decided to do things differently on our property. And I have to say from October of 2022, we stopped then of pesticides, fertilizers, weed killers, poisons, chemicals for anything else we might doing because it harms the wildlife, the amphibians, pollinators, everything. Because honestly, I used to use um, Roundup, and I used to use insecticides, and I didn't realize what destruction I was doing to the environment until I did all that research on Google and YouTube. And, you know, we started two free websites. One is on godaddy.com martinez you can google martinez frog sanctuary white city oregon and you will run into our two websites one is on godaddy and it's a, a free website because i can't afford money for one uh and then there's one on wix w-i-x and it's also a free website did the best i could on those i have somebody currently looking at them that is going to consider doing some work. Another uh, certificate we received by the monarchwatch.org is um, for monarch butterflies, butterflies in general. Um, one of the things that we're going to be doing here is um, 
changing over to native plants. We planted uh, milkweed. We planted uh, native plants in December uh, by sowing the seeds here of native plants for our region. And we're excited to see what is going to come up from this. And here we received this um, beautiful, I think this is beautiful. We received this from um, X-E-R-C-E-S-S-O-C-I-E-T-Y Society. And um, they sent us this because we're making an effort for our pollinators. I'm not sure if my wife and I are getting in the way over here. These are our frogs. Okay, so our plan. Our plan is to make Martina's Frog Sanctuary not only part of our community, but through education of preschool through um, grade 12 and including adults. Uh, we are going to offer weekly classes here on site. I'll talk about my experience in teaching in just a minute, but we're going to be offering on site classes here. Uh, and we have these resources that are being mailed to us from learnforest.org. It's the for Oregon Forest. Resource Institute. And in this one here, you have uh, these are the forest essays. That's uh, grade uh, 12, talking about how to do forest essays, how to go about it. Um, you have uh, coloring sheets for the younger children that you can set up. We're going to have two eight foot tables. Well, I have to buy them. We're, we need we need two eight foot tables, and about uh, mm, twelve plastic chairs would would take care of that. Uh, again, this is K through twelve. This is this book here is on forest education opportunities. We can talk about. I have a grandson who um, is a firefighter, and he fought wildfires here in Oregon. And I could probably get him to come talk about being a wildfire uh, firefighter. And this one here is on the Oregon Forest Literacy Plan. Um, this is a, a, a number of videos that are available on their website that as you know kids nowadays you never find kids without electronics they'll have their smartphones or they'll have their little tablets and they're always on them so when they come to my class i'm hoping i can get these kids to go on their smartphones or their tablets and go to uh, the oregon forest research institute where we can all watch a video and this one booklet is more than trees here. Um, you just have so, so much in here, into the forest. It's just so fantastic. Um, this one I'm excited about. We have a, a whole stack of these ready for our, our students. And this is forest amphibians and I'm excited about amphibians and helping amphibians in fact when we set up our two um, we set up our two web pages um, I don't know if I reached out to Dr. Krieger uh, Kerry Krieger he's the founder of um, the uh, Save the Frogs and I apologize if I, I got his name wrong. I'm horrible about people's names. 
I went on his website and read his resume. Um, he's a doctor, a PhD. He's got, um, he's, uh, in, uh, he's certified in biology um, and also in, uh, oh my gosh, his resume just blew me away. It's like when I read it, I thought, oh my, I felt so tiny. <laughs> I was just in awe. The guy is so tremendous. The way he popped up to me as I remember, and you can't rely on me, but the way he, the way I remember him is that I was doing my frog stuff online, and I got this poem from him about frogs, and I was so impressed by it that I took that poem and I put it on both of my websites, and I put it, I have a little Facebook thing that's Martinez, uh, Frog Sanctuary, White City, Oregon. I encourage you, please, ask to be my friend or follow me or whatever on those. The more of you, the, the merrier. Uh, but anyway, uh, since he's done that, I've become a member of uh, the Save the Frogs. It's a worldwide organization everywhere. They give out grants for people like myself. Every year I applied for one. But in watching his video on grants, I don't think I'm going to get the one this year. And it's not because my project is not worthwhile, but it's because of the way I wrote my grant. And I think that from watching his videos on, if I would have watched his videos on how to do a grant, I would have did a much better grant. Uh, I'm sure of it. I would have also asked my... Um, my college graduate granddaughter who gets A's and everything, and she's just fantastic when it comes to writing. Um, so she's, she's working toward becoming a physician assistant, and um, she's just fantastic. She could have helped me with that, and I would have probably most certainly got the grant if I went through all his stuff. Dr. Uh, Kerry uh, Krieger, if I would have went through all his videos and learned how to write the grant and then employed my granddaughter to help me write the grant. But they do them every year, so maybe next year I'll stand a chance. Um, however, this is where you can help me. I told uh, on applying for my grant with uh, Save the Frogs, I uh, told their board on my grant, on, when I applied for my grant, that I needed $400 for blowing down the fence. Uh, the fence is how we protect our sanctuary. Um, the tables and chairs for the classroom. Um, everything that I need comes to right in the ballpark of $1,200, maybe a little bit more. So if you search for my websites at um, Martinez Frog Sanctuary in White City, Oregon, you go to Google and look for that and go to my free website on... Um, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, my brain does this. If you go to my free website at GoDaddy or you go to my free website um, on the Wix, W-I-X, uh, and you read those. Read what our mission is about. Read what we've done since October. The amphibians are as important to us as the canaries were to the miners. The miners knew that if the canaries were laying dead at the bottom of that cage, that they better get out of there. And... Our amphibians do so much for us. Our frogs, they eat the mosquitoes. The tadpoles eat the mosquito eggs. They eat the algae in the pond to keep a balance in your pond. Uh, you don't have to worry about diseases from mosquitoes. Frogs eat insects we don't want to deal with, like roaches or snails and whatever bug they can fit in their mouth. If their mouth is big enough to fit around that bug or whatever else it is that's alive, a bird, whatever, they're going to eat it. Now, I have 27 bird nesting boxes here at the sanctuary. 
I clean those all out, all 27 of them. So they're ready for the birds to move in. The birds will use all 27 boxes. They'll use them all season. Birds of all types, okay? And um, we, we feed over 40 wild doves every day. And I just kind of wanted to talk about the circle of life a little bit, like on Disney's Lion King, uh, the circle of life, okay? Um, in heaven a sanctuary, I'm not done. I know, for example, my wild doves, I was out there watching them one day, beautiful doves, watching them one day, they're eating at their little station over there. And we have, we live right here, bears come around here, we have just about almost every kind of forest animal you can imagine around in these areas. Anyway, out of the corner of my eye, I saw a, sh a streak when I was watching the doves. Hi, Dottie. I saw a streak, and it ended up being... I don't know if it was a hawk or a peregrine falcon. I, I'm thinking it must have been a peregrine falcon because it hit the dove so hard that feathers flew everywhere. And then as it was carrying the dove away, the dove was all limp. And I thought, how sad, you know, how sad for that to happen. And uh, I'm, a, I'm a sentimental guy. So when I finally do get frogs here and I get frog spawn, and the tadpoles hatch. I'm going to be excited. You'll see my pictures of them. And I'll talk about when the frog spawn happen. And how many tadpoles. And what the tadpoles are doing. And all this stuff. And so when something eats my tadpoles or eats my frog. A snake comes up there, eats my frogs or whatever. I'm going to be sad. Hell, I'll probably have the damn things named. And the snake comes up there and eats them. That's part of the circle of life. When I do tours here, I plan for the preschoolers through adults to be able to come on site and be able to see frogs, be able to see tadpoles under supervision and the proper way to do it, handle things. There will be little bee houses, little butterfly habitats. There will be a bat house up here housing bats, uh, snakes, lizards, salamanders. I want it to be the experience that I remember as a child when I would wander into the creek and I would find these amazing little tadpoles. I just knew they were little black things swimming around the water. I didn't know they metamorphosized into frogs, but I was amazed by them and I used to catch them. I used to catch frogs. I used to do all that. Just what boys do when they go down and they find water. and explore in it i want the martinez frog sanctuary to be that and if you want it to be that and if you want us to teach people why amphibians are important and why like the miners we shouldn't ignore what the amphibians are telling us about the way we're treating them they're not going to be treated that way here no more pesticides no more poisons no more weed killers they're going to have a sanctuary here and you can help me build this for them here and help me educate the public and go out and go to the boys club and the girls club and the boy scouts of america girl scouts of america go out and talk to the lions club go out and reach out to the ranchers to the farmers to the people in the community in their residences and explain to people what we can do to make things better. Don't drink bottled water because plastic's bad for the environment. And all of the gas that's used to, look how expensive water is. A gallon of water is more expensive than a gallon of gas. It's crazy. Okay. I wasn't always this way. I didn't used to care about really not really care that much about amphibians and frogs but on that september day when i saw them destroyed and i decided to dig deep and educate myself and i did that for countless hours drove my wife crazy talking about amphibians and frogs and everything when i found out what mankind is doing to them, and that they are our canaries, 
to warn us that I'm hooked now and I want to help them. And if you think you might want to help them too, go to my website, Martinez Frog Sanctuary. Look it up under Google, White City, Oregon. There's two sites. And please donate to us so that we can fulfill our mission, so we can fulfill our plan. I'm excited about it. I'll do it. Thank you for your help. Thank <laughs> you.